Good morning and cheers. Are you drinking beer for breakfast again? <laughs> it's a hard habit to kick, sis. <laughs> Modelo in the morning. I'm just kidding. Oh, you guys, don't take me seriously. Okay. <laughs> Welcome back. Yeah. Lesson 229. Mm -hmm. Sis's turn to read. Okay. Lesson 229, love which created me is what I am. And if you forget, I'll just remind you, sis. Yeah. I need constant reminding. No problem. Wouldn't you all agree that Nook is pure love? Can you hear the echo? Yes. <laughs> we all hold that. Thank you. Mm -hmm. so Easy. This is for all of us, right? Yes, it is. So I'm asking all of us to really breathe this in deeply. Mm. Love, which created me, is what I am. It's all I am. It's all I am. Love is all I am. I seek my own identity and find it in these words. Love which created me is what I am. Now need I seek no more. Love has prevailed. So still, it waited for my homecoming. No, I read that wrong. I'm sorry. It's okay. It's interesting because I'm hearing this in my mind and then I'm having to read it. So here it is. So still, waited for my, so still, it waited for my home. There it goes again. Homecoming. Coming home. Is, is that the same thing? Uh, yeah, but for some reason, when the words are superimposed, it gives a little different feel to it. Okay, I'll start it again. So still, it waited for my coming home, that I will turn away no longer from the holy face of Christ. And what I, and what I look upon attests the truth of the identity I sought to lose, but which my father has kept safe for me. Father, my thanks to you for what I am, for keeping my identity untouched and sinless. In the midst of all the thoughts of sin, my foolish mind made up. And thanks to you for saving me from them. Amen. Amen.
you know, he says here, I will turn away no longer from the face of Christ. Mm -hmm. You know how big that is? Yeah. So no longer are we imposing our storylines and projections over the face of Christ in our brother. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. We're willing to be natural. We're willing to extend the divine love that created us like itself to extend that love. Every time we move out past self-interests and let love have its way, you know you feel good. You know something incredible takes place and everybody that's touched or involved knows it. Even if we can't put words to it, one holy instant, whether you're on the path or not, we feel it. We know. We just showed up. Love just showed up and moved. And we're all blessed by it. That's our natural state. It's effortless. We do know how to be natural. It's what we are without thought taking. To what so happens when we're without judgment. Yeah, go ahead. So, sis, it's, so it really is a divine honor, a divine privilege mm -hmm. to be able to choose, mm -hmm. I should say, mm -hmm. to look upon the face of Christ in our brother instead of the trigger. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Because and it's our gift. Yeah. When we choose to see the face of Christ, mm -hmm. despite appearances to the contrary, that gift is given to us as well as our brother. It's huge, yeah. There's that workbook lesson. It says, love is the way that I walk in gratitude. 195. And that the whole point in that is what you're pointing to. It's like beholding the face of Christ, letting love be there and having so much gratitude instead of a trigger, instead of opinions and judgment, or instead of an absent the ego, I would behold my brother as completely sinless and Feel the felt state of our identity. Yeah. And when you have the gratitude, you have the love. When you have the love, you have the gratitude. But it's like every brother is just offering you the option. There it is. I can behold the Christ right here and know myself if I only choose that. Now, now, now. Hmm. Yeah, it's, it's really coming home to me more and more now that there is no personal happiness. No, 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 can't be. All right. So there is no, there's no private completion. There's no private gratitude, right? The happiness, the completion, yeah. the gratitude is not real unless it's shared. Yeah. That's why we need our brothers. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's how you know if something's real or not. Can it be shared? That's why exclusive special love is so far removed from divine love, which includes all of creation in it. <laughs> Talk about being the antithesis of love. Ah. <sighs> So exclusive love is really hate in disguise. And who's in the hate for who? It's the hate for self. It's self-hatred. You've walled yourself off from, from God, from the ability to know yourself, from a perfect love. Yeah. And, you know, but nothing that we do here, this beautiful lesson, love which created me is what I am. So no amount of dreaming and pretending and 
identifying as what you have never been can change the fact. And our great gratitude is to God who keeps that fact safe. His answer to the separation was not even, did not even make sense to God. It's something he does not understand. Where, where could you go? Where, separation's impossible, inconceivable. So our, our perfection has always been held by him. That's the story of the prodigal son. We're the older son that's always been home and everything that God has is already ours. And that's what we awaken to. We're not the journeying son. That's the illusion. Yeah. Good news. Some more good news. It's all good news. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Thanks, sis. Yeah, beautiful. So love which created me is what I am. Mm -hmm. For me, I need the last part. It is all I am. And nothing else, right? And nothing else. And we're joining and accepting that truth on behalf of the entire sonship that That was beautiful yeah thanks thank you family thank you guys for the healing thank mm -hmm. you <laughs> see you next time <laughs>